Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and today Horror Across America is going to be rolling through Nebraska and Nevada. Now there's are two different, I think those are two states that couldn't be any more different. I mean, you got in Nebraska, you got corn, you got the corn huskers, and everything. And then you got in Nevada, which you got gambling, Vegas, Reno, you got the mafia and everything in, in Nevada and stuff. I mean, well, I don't know if the mafia is there anymore. I don't think they are, but uh, who knows? I don't know for sure. Anyway, I've got a total of six books here, so let's go ahead and get underway, all right? So, first up, we got Nebraska, and the first one we're going to talk about is there's Someone Inside Your House, and this is by Stephanie Perkins. I believe this is also a Netflix uh, original movie. I haven't seen it. I think I got it downloaded to watch, but I haven't watched it yet. And I haven't read the book either. Yeah, remember, these are recommendations for me just as much as they are for you guys as well. All right. It's been almost a year since Makani Young came to live with her grandmother and she's still adjusting to her new life in rural, rural Nebraska. Then one by one, students at her high school begin to die in a series of gruesome murders, each with increasing and grotesque flair. As the body count rises and the terror grows closer, can Makani survive the killer's twisted plan? And that is, There's Someone Inside Your House, and that is by Stephanie Pertins. Okay. All right, next up we have got Reprieve, and this is by James Hahn Matson. All right, that's an author I've never heard of. That is a book I've never heard of, so there you go. On April 27th, 1997, four contestants make it to the final cell of the Quigley House, a full-contact haunted escape room in Lincoln, Nebraska, made famous for its monstrosities, booby traps, and ghoulishly costumed actors. If the group can endure these horrors without shouting the safe word reprieve, they'll win a substantial cash prize, a startling feat accomplished only by one other group, in the house's long history. But before they can complete the challenge, a man breaks into the cell and kills one of the contestants. Those who were present on that fateful night lend their points of view. Kendra Brown, a teenager who's been uprooted from her childhood home after the sudden loss of her father. Le Leonard Granton, a desperate and impressionable, an impressionable hotel manager caught in a series of toxic entanglements. And J.D. Cheronsuk, a gay international student who came to the United States in a besotted in a bes, excuse me in a besotted search for his former English teacher. As each character's journey unfurls and overlaps, deceit and misunderstandings fueled by obsession and prejudice are revealed, forcing all to reckon with the ways in which their beliefs and actions contributed to a horrifying catastrophe. An astonishingly soulful explora exploration of complicity and masquerade, reprieve, combines the psychological tension of classic horror with searing social criticism to present an unsettling portrait of this tangled American life. And that is Reprieve. And that's a long synopsis, so who is the author again? It is James Hahn Matson. All right. All right, moving on. Get to the next book here. Next up, last one from Nevada, or excuse me, Nebraska. Uh, we have got Pack. And this is by Mike Bakovan. If you remember, I talked about him with Fantastic Land. So he's no, he's he's back, all right? Okay, Cherry, Nebraska, population 312, is just off the highway between the Sticks and the Boonies. It's where Dave Rhodes and his friends have lived all their lives. They own businesses, raise families, pay taxes, deal with odd neighbors, and once or twice a month, just like their fathers before them, transform into wolves. It's not a bad lie, but when one of the group members goes astray, it sets in motion a series of events that will threaten to destroy the delicate balance that has kept Dave and his clan off the radar. Between his son getting ready for his first transformation, called the Scratch, a wife with sordid secrets, a new sheriff who knows nothing of the creatures in his midst, and a mysterious man in a bow tie with a shady agenda, the middle of nowhere is about to get very dangerous. And that is Pack. And that is by Mike Bakovan. OK. 
Okay. All right, we are moving into Nevada, and the first one, first thing we're going to talk about with Nevada is desperation, and this is by Stephen King. Located off a desolate stretch of Interstate 50, Desperation, Nevada has few connections with the rest of the world. It is a place, though, where the seams between worlds are thin, and it is a place where several travelers are abducted by Colin by Collie and Trajan, the maniacal police officer of desperation. And Trajan used various ploys for the abductions, from an arrest for drug possession to rescuing a family from a non-existent gunman. There's something very wrong here, all right, and in Trajan is only the surface of it. The secrets embedded in Desperation's landscape and the evil that infects the town like some viral hot zone are both awesome and terrifying. But as one of the travelers, young David Carver, seems to know, though it scares him nearly to death to realize it, so are the forces summoned to combat them. Stephen King's knack for turning the stray junk of pop culture into sick, darkly engrossing thrills has never been this much in evidence as in desperation. And that is according to Salon Magazine or Salon.com or whatever. Anyway, that is Desperation, and that is by Stephen King. Right, what do we got next? Next up, we have got Strangers, and this is by Dean Kuntz. A writer in California, a doctor in Boston, a motel owner and his employee in Nevada, a priest in Chicago, a robber in New York, a little girl in Las Vegas. There are a handful of people from across the country living through eerie variations of the same nightmare. A dark memory is calling out to them, and soon they will be drawn together deep in the heart of a sprawling desert where the terrifying truth awaits. And that is Strangers, and that is by Dean Kuntz. Okay. And finally for Nevada, we have got Under the Wicked Moon, and this is by Abe Moss. When Maria Jenkins awaits, awakens late one night in her family's motel room and witnesses her younger brother Michael sleepwalking out into the desert moonlight, her family trip is plunged into a gruesome nightmare. Because the sprawling wasteland outside their door isn't nearly as lifeless as it seems. Deep in the desert hills of Nevada, a forgotten evil emerges with a lust for sacrifice. Beneath their black hooded robes, crack cackling under the veil of night, they're on the hunt for new blood, for old rituals, until the perfect, most unsuspecting morsel catches their eye. And that is Under the Wicked Moon, and that is by Abe Moss. And that is going to do it for Nebraska and Nevada. I think the next one I've got coming up is for New Hampshire. Uh, then I'm going to have New Mexico. And I got a, there's going to be a, a pretty big one for New York. Uh, I might have to combine New Mexico and New York because I actually only have found three books for New Mexico. Uh, unless I find more, then I'll do a separate thing. Anyway, that is it for Horror Across America. And take care and stay scared. Bye-bye.